Good morning and welcome. My name is Sussex Sandra and welcome to my channel. So this morning I thought I would do a little get ready with me mainly because I haven't been with you for a while. I've been so busy at work. I haven't really done that many uploadings recently. Now, so I thought just before I throw my makeup and run out the door and go to work, I thought I would just do a little get ready with me. So I'm just going to put my makeup on this morning and have a little chat with you. So as you can see my face is all bare. I have already cleansed my face and moisturize it so the moisturizer I use this morning is my Amora Vicha which I got in a look fantastic box about two months ago now so I'm gonna put on a primer so I'm gonna put on a primer that I also got in one of my beauty boxes can't remember which beauty box I got this in um, but this one is from oh who's it from it's, it's from figs and rouge figs and rouge and it's this one they say it's a soft focus pull perfect hd matte veil so i'm hoping this will be okay for my face it's going to be a long working day today so i do need something that's actually going to work quite well so i haven't even opened it yet so let's have a quick look so i don't know why it's so squished obviously it's been in my makeup collection and just got very dirty so it's a very rosy looking product but it feels like a, a fairly light serum so let's try this on I'm gonna put this on all over I've got very oily skin so for those of you who don't know and I've got blemishes and hyperpigmentation so even though I'm 49 years old I do suffer from oily skin which I know is very weird for someone in my age group but so be it okay so this dries down to a quite tacky feel so that's promising actually and it has taken some of the shine away so oh that's that's promising so we'll see how that does what i will do i will put down the names of all the products i use and the price up on the screen as i put them on as i said i always double prime so i'm going to put on my my very reliable becca ever matte poreless primer and i'm going to put that on just in my nose area my upper cheek area because that's where i suffer from oil the most so let's put some of this on right that's fine so i know i've got the right amount of primer on where my skin feels when there's a bit of resistance when I apply the product to my face so there you go right that's that primer done let's put some concealer on so the concealer I'm going to use today is the NARS creamy radiance and the shade I use is um, I should know this by now shouldn't I dark one cafe Can you see that I don't know if it's focusing but I'm using that one so let's put this on So um, yes, I've been doing, it's been a lot of work going on at the moment, so I haven't been filming that much, so I do apologise for that. I will have periods when I'm just so busy with work, I just can't do as many uploads as I normally do. So please forgive me for that. <coughs> but for those of you who are fairly new to my channel, if you haven't read the description box below, which I know some of you just don't read it, you really must read my um, description box. I do put a lot of information in there. I'm just going to put a little bit more concealer on. Um, I do, my videos are mainly unboxings. So I, I, do, I subscribe to quite a few beauty boxes. <laughs> I subscribe and I unsubscribe, depending on how things are going. Because sometimes the boxes just become repetitive or they don't meet my needs so I do unsubscribe as well but um, I subscribe to quite a few of the beauty boxes that are available in the UK I also subscribe to one American one which is FabFit one and that's a seasonal box so I'm expecting the summer one in the next couple of weeks I hope so that should be shipped over fairly soon I think that's enough for the concealer just gonna put a little bit of color corrector on as well just to cover some of the dark patches um, I do hair boxes as well um, so there's two hair boxes I currently subscribe to and these are sort of hair boxes for people with curly um, curly coily kinky sort of textured hair 
So I'd say people with types um, three to four hair. So I subscribe to a couple of those. There's one box, one of them, which is curly box. I might be unsubscribing to, but I will decide by the end of this month if I'm going to continue with that box or not. And I've also got a giveaway going with that as well. So the giveaway I'm giving is, um, if you comment on the video I did last week for Curly Box, um, I'm giving away two two gels. One's an Eco Gel Gold. I should I should show that to you. Wait a minute. I'll show you the what I'm giving away in that box. So if you look at that Curly Box video and subscribe to my channel and comment on that video. I'll be picking out a winner at the end of the month and I'll be giving away these two products here. So they're two gels, one's an Eco Gel Gold and one's a um, from Aunt Jackie's Dose Shrink Gel. So I'm giving those two things away. So that'll be at the end of the month. I've also got a, a 900 subscriber giveaway going at the moment and that's an ASOS Beauty Box, the April ASOS Beauty Box. Nearly there, as soon as I get to 900 subscribers, um, I will look at that video which is the um, April ASOS Beauty video and I will pick out um, I've got a, I've got a, an app that randomly selects comments from a, um, a video that you choose and that will pick out a winner and I'll let that winner know by Instagram so all you have to do really is just subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram and make a comment on that video so that's two giveaways that are going at the moment I've also got a 1,000 subscriber giveaway, but I won't talk about that one yet. Let's just focus on the two we've got going on at the moment. My foundation I'm going to use today is the Cover FX Play, and I'm wearing this in shade N100. And I'm going to use, what am I going to use today? I'm going to use my Tarte brush to apply this on. Let's put some of this on. I, I actually like this foundation, it's, it's nice coverage, easy to blend out. The only thing I don't like about it is this squeezer bottle. I don't like that at all. I've got arthritis in my hands and I can see that as I get towards the end of the bottle, it's going to become more and more difficult for me to apply the foundation on. But in the meantime, it's doing okay. So let's do this. I like um, fairly medium. I like medium to full coverage on my foundations, basically because of all the blemishes and hyperpigmentation I've got on my skin. And I just like my foundations to feel comfortable and I also like them to be long wearing. This foundation has performed really well so far, so I've really enjoyed wearing it. I don't wear the same foundation all the time, it really just depends on how I'm feeling. Um, so at the moment, so far, last month or so foundations I've been wearing have been the cover effects play the Bobbi Brown skin long wear um, I've also been wearing the nip and fab foundations I bought the other day I did a review of those um, in the shades 45 and 50 so um, yeah those are foundations I've been wearing quite a lot recently and it all depends on the weather how I'm feeling and where I'm going really but as you can see I've just put what I'd call probably about one and a half squeezes, one and a half pumps on my face. And that's giving me the kind of coverage I like. So that's kind of cool. I do like this foundation, as I said. Easy to go on don't give, and doesn't give me any issues at all. So it's that one. Um, I've bought a new setting powder. I've got so many setting powders, but I bought a new one and it's from Cover FX as well. And where do I get this from? I think I've got this from Space NK. Space NK are good for some of the high end products. So this is Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. And I've got this in the shade Translucent Deep. Let's have a look and see what this is like. Okay, so it's just a little tub like that. It's, this is a mini. So it was a, it's not a full size one. They actually sell this half size one, which is good because I don't get through products. So I'm actually appreciating products that don't come in big full sizes. Actually, before I put this on, let me put my under eye highlighter on. I will do that today. I don't always put on an under eye highlighter, but I will today. So the one I'm gonna put on is from Makeup Revolution. It's the Conceal and Define and I'm going to put on shade N, sorry, I'm going to put on shade C13. Put a little bit of that one under my eyes. <coughs> Do 
damp beauty blender. If you um, saw on my Instagram feed, you would have seen that I washed this beauty blender um, with a hack I got from Lady Marwa. She's one of my YouTube friends. It's a woman in a similar age group to me. She's a little bit younger. And she just discovered that just using a plain old bar of soap will wash your beauty blenders beautifully. And it did. I, I just used the soap I got in. I think it was a Look Fantastic box for May. I just used that to wash this and it, you know, washed it beautifully clean. Yes, the colours faded, but there you go. Right, let's put a little bit of contour on. So the contour I'm going to use today is from Fenty Beauty Espresso. So I bought it in the, I bought the Trio collection. So you've got um, a, a concealer and you've got a highlighter as well. So let's put a little bit of this on. And I'm just going to use my Sigma contour brush. What's this one called? It's called the Soft Angle Contour Brush F23, just to blend this out. So how are all you guys doing at the moment? Is everything all right with everybody? I'm doing okay. I've been sort of just tired recently. Um, I've been on a bit of a, I think the way to describe it, it's a bit of a funk. Um, I'm not really enjoying my work at the moment thinking about changing careers but you know at the end of the day um, I'm, I'm nearly 50 I live in an area where finding work isn't that easy when I was living in London it was easy for me just to sort of give up my job and just go and work in another local authority but down where I am it's not so easy I live in Sussex it's not so easy and it's just one of those things because I work in a, a major white area people kind of feel uncomfortable about black people they they see you as a strange alien and i don't want to go through that whole process of letting people know that black people are actually okay we're, we're kind of normal people i don't want to be going through all that again and trying to break down all their prejudices they have and all the stereotypes they have of what black people are like i can't be doing with all of that i did all that sort of 10 years ago when i'm working i don't want to be doing it again so I'm just going to suck up really and just try and get through my funk. I mean, it's, I always find it amazing that I could be retiring in 10 years. I can't think of myself as getting old. I still think of myself as sort of 35 years old. It's all very weird, but I can actually start thinking about retirement now. If I could retire earlier, I would, but these days it's not that easy to do that not with the current climate mortgages and bills need to be paid right let's put this concealer on now so it looks like that i'm hoping the color is going to be okay i just want to take this little plastic seal off because i'm scared of dropping powder all over my clothes which is probably what i'm going to do because i'm so messy so let me see if i can take this plastic seal off and not make a mess all over the place Okay, yeah, this powder is good. It's a, a nice neutral colour. So many of the brown setting powders are very red. I bought the Beauty Bakery Flower setting powder um, last year and I haven't used it because the one time I did use it, it was just so red in undertones and I was really disappointed because that belongs to a black owned, it's a black owned company. It's a black woman owned company and I just thought, Ooh, I just thought it would just be a little bit more neutral, but never mind. Yeah, that's a nice setting powder. I like that colour. That's very nice indeed. Good. Right. I'm going to do my eyebrows now. I know a lot of people do their eyes first before they do the, the foundation, but I always do my foundation first. I know it's weird. So I'm going to do my brows now. So I'm just going to use a Benefit Goof Proof Pencil in shade Deep. So let's do this quickly. So what do we all think about the whole Meghan Markle and her father situation? It's so sad, but I'm just kind of hoping that um, her mother walks her down the aisle. It would be so cool if her father does it. I just want the girl just to get married to Harry and that's it. But boy, step family, especially her stepsister, her half stepsister, or what? Was it her half sister? That Samantha woman, 
boy that girl is I'm telling you we have all got people like that in our family but boy that one is she just seems to be just mixing it up causing as much trouble for Megan as she possibly can she just does not stop interfering she's milking her money as much as she can so I just hope she gets what she wants out of all of this because once they're married that is it I mean she's trying to cause as much trouble for Megan as possible and I just think that's so sad but I've also got people like that in our families haven't we people who just will not behave but man for all this to happen a few days before her wedding how upsetting is that <laughs> I just remember my my wedding day um, for those of you who don't know my husband is white um, white Jewish and let's just say the whole wedding process for me was challenging very challenging his his mother my mother-in-law still hasn't quite got used to me in the family as yet and you know we just kind of keep a healthy distance away from her it's just it's just easy for my stress levels if it was up to me I wouldn't have I'd have very little contact with her but because my daughter is the only grandchild she has can't do that to them but the thing is that my father-in-law is lovely really really nice guy really really like him it's just his wife <laughs> I see my brows done. Let's do a basic eyeshadow look. So I'm just going to use my Tartius Pro palette. I mean, I bought this, God, must be nearly two years ago now from QVC. And honestly, it's just my go to palette. I mean, all you've got to do is look at the state of it, and you know how well used it is. So I'm just going to do a quick look with this. So you can see this is the color I always use as my base color. So let's just do that now. So I am actually trying to trying to just get my life in order, just trying to concentrate on my health as much as possible and my own mental health as, I suppose as well. That's what I've been trying to do over the last few months really. I've been doing it without realise it, realising that I'm doing it. So I'm just trying to find a happy place for myself really, focusing on just trying to be happy, happy in my skin, just accepting that the things that I've got going on in my life aren't really going to change that much now, especially at my in my age group. I'm I'm I'm, sound, I'm making out that I'm really old, but it's it's difficult for things to change when you're in my age group. You, you're supposed to be kind of there already and happy with what you got. So I'm trying to focus more on my daughter's needs. My daughter is 17. Um, I think I've mentioned before that she has got learning difficulties. She has her challenges, but she's doing her GCSEs right now. And it seems like these kids doing GCSEs now, they just seem to have so much stress on them. It's just a different world from when I was doing my own levels. I mean, back then, when I did mine, this is back in the 80s here, so we're looking at, what, 1985, roughly, when I did my own levels? You know, you, you, you did them. If you didn't get a grade you want, you just resat them six months later, and that was it. So I know I had to, what did I resit? I had to resit, oh, what did I resit? I resat sociology and what was it I had I resat sociology I didn't reset maths which I thought that was when I thought I was gonna really mess up on I mean I got a grade C with that and I was just like yeah that's fine with me I'm happy with that just glad that I've got it um, what else did I reset oh I had to reset English language that really shocked me because that was one of my favorite subjects and I think what had happened is that I'd focused so much on my maths I let my English language down so I had to reset my English language and yeah I, re I reset to English language and something else oh RE religious education I reset those two I don't even know why I bothered with RE but I reset that so I've got my C in English um, I've got my C in RE and I've got a B in English language which is what I should have got in the first place I mean I was actually aiming for an A so when I came out of a D my first one I was so shocked but serves me right because I was arrogant and complacent so that serves me right um, and I did my A levels as you do um, and I, by this point I'd met a guy <laughs> at sixth form college and my I did not focus on my A levels at all. So let's just say I screwed my A levels up and I didn't bother to reset, I just gave up at that point. Um, 
So yeah, just started working. And back then in the 80s and 90s, plenty of work out there, loads of work out there. So I just flitted from job to job until I decided in my, in my sort of mid 20s that I really wanted to find a, a, a career, a proper career, but I wanted a vocational career. I didn't just want to do a degree that wouldn't lead to anything. So I chose environmental health and I did environmental health as a degree. So that took four years, did that and got a, had a training place at the local authority I was living in at the time in London. Got, didn't get a job with them at the end, but they made sure they allowed me to stay on until I found a job in a, another neighboring local authority. And that's what I've been doing for the last 20 odd years, working in environmental health. So sometimes you hear me say that I do inspections. I go into kitchens and I do food hygiene inspections. I'm one of those people. So I'm one of those people who goes into make sure the place you're eating from is, is safe. Um, so I've worked in food safety, I've worked in housing, I've worked in health and safety. But majority of my career has been working in food safety. That's what I do now in East Sussex. In the local authority I work for down here. But to be honest, I'm totally sick of doing it. 20 years in one career doesn't pay that much. My salary hasn't gone up that much. It's, it's actually gone down because of obviously the cuts in public, say, in public, um, in the public sector. So my salary's actually gone down. And it's just like, I'm working so hard for what? So, yeah, I'm, I would like to do something different, but I don't know what really don't know what and I think that's why I started doing YouTube videos because I've always been enthusiastic about makeup and beauty and I've just started doing this as a, as a hobby really and then I found out as a, no I started making my videos if you look at some of my early videos you can see how I started out how nervous and stuff I was in 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 doing my videos I'm still a bit nervous in doing it but I'm trying to treat it as just talking to friends on the camera talking to people who got same sort of we live the same sort of life I do. Just women just getting on with it, just getting on with life. But we just like to look semi-decent as well. We don't want to look like hell as we get older. Right. This is, seems to be a very common makeup look for me. I do my base colour, I do like a, a ready brown transition, I do a brown and then I'm, I'm going for a, a glittery shimmery highlighter I need to sort of try and change up my eye makeup look a little bit but I'm gonna go to work this will do for today <coughs> so yes yeah, so that's what I've been doing for the last 20 odd years really and I can't really see me doing anything else I was thinking about doing fostering but it's such a risk and I don't know how much it would disrupt my life I'm still thinking about it because I do literally just want to stop working for local government now because it's just so much politics and I'm sick of all the politics. I'm very much um, someone who stands up for people's rights. I don't like seeing nonsense and I, I'm not one of those people who will keep quiet when I see nonsense. I I do speak up and I will challenge things so I'm a bit of a, I'm a, I'm a person who challenges situations. So. As you can imagine, I'm a union representative as well. And that has got me in a bit of trouble because I don't let things slide. I will challenge and I will fight. And obviously when you're challenging people, they will want to fight back as well because they want to do what they want to do. So um, I'm a bit of a tough old bird. And I have been given various labels where I work. And you know you're just tired of being seen as someone who's just a troublemaker. But I'm not, I'm just trying to get people just be able to work and just work safely because everybody just wants to earn a living and get on with it I don't like bullies I don't like seeing corruption don't like seeing harassment don't like seeing victimization and if I see it I will do something I just can't walk away I wish I could but I can't because it just niggles me it really just niggle me so I will fight for people when I need to but I'm just at that stage when I'm tired of it now. I just want to look after myself and have some fun. And also to focus on my daughter as well, because no, she's at that age now. She's transitioning from school to college. She's growing up. She's 
a tall, beautiful girl, and it absolutely terrifies me of the world that she's going into. It's just not the same world I, I grew up in as a teenager. It terrifies me, and she's also quite naive as well. And it scares me, absolutely scares me. And I just want to really focus my attention on making sure that she's okay. Because I can't protect her forever, even though I do my damn best to. But at the same time, she has to be open to, she has to be exposed to the world out there. Yeah, unfortunately, well, so unfortunately, I'm very proud. She's tall, she's beautiful. She's got a figure that people would die for. I mean, she's got the biggest boobies on the planet. I've never seen anybody with such big boobs, naturally. She's slim and it scares me. And then when I go out with her shopping, I see the guys checking her out. And all I want to do is take out a double, sh double barrel shotgun and shoot them. Don't look at my daughter like that. But I can't stop that from happening. And she's just so unaware of it all. It's so sweet. <laughs> and I just give these guys stink eyes as I look at, as I watch them watching my daughter. It's like, Can you stay away from my daughter. But I'm not going to be there all the time. So um, yeah, <laughs> I've got to cut the apron strings at some point. But she's my only daughter. Right. So the blush I'm using is from Sleek. We got this in. Where did I get this? We got this in the ASOS in the April Beauty Box. The one that I'm giving away for the 900 subscriber. We'll get this blush, and it's really nice. Look at that. So I'm using this colour here at the moment, and it's just a nice blush. Suits all skin tones. Right. I'm going too heavy with the blush there, as per usual. And highlight I'm going to use today is the one I got in the mini Tilly bag from Tarte and the shade is Stunner. So there you go. I mean I sound like I'm complaining about my work. I mean it's given me a career, it's given me a lifestyle so I can't really complain about that. I'm just really tired of doing the same thing all the time. It's okay, isn't it? Just to be a little bit tired. I just want something different. So that's what, so that's why I've been really glad that I've been able to do this YouTube because I've met some. What say I've met? I've met online. I haven't met any of these people face to face, but I've met some really nice people online who I've, I've spoken to, other YouTubers and people who subscribe to my channel. So people I'm thinking of in particular is a one of them. Um, her ID is Smoggy. Hi. Her name's Sam. Then there's Bosidi. Um, she's another really nice person who I've met online. Another YouTuber. Um, we've got um, Lady Marwa, someone who I've really liked and really liked. There's Lucy Pertface. There's people who I've really liked. Nice having a nice chat with them online. Uh, there's some overseas women who I've chatted to online as well. You know, I've really appreciated their support because um, they've just been there from, with me from the beginning and they give suggestions and stuff and they engage in conversations. So I've, I've, I've liked that and I've appreciated it. Right, my lips are kind of dry right now. So I'm just going to use this Urban Decay Lip Treatment, which we got in one of the beauty boxes. I think it might have been a Look Incredible beauty box. I get the um, standard look incredible beauty box, not the deluxe. So the standard one comes out every two months, which again, I don't mind, suits me because I always get nice products. So that's happy with that. Right, let's do a lip. What lip are we going for today? I'm going to go for a colour. So I'm just going to use a ColourPop lip liner. This colour is pitch. You can see that's nearly gone as well. I'm running low on all my lip liners. But saying that though, I did buy a new MAC chestnut, so I've got that in reserve, ready to go. And lipstick, what are we going for today? I have got, hmm, got three here. So I've got a Bobbi Brown one, Raisin. <coughs> so that's Raisin, so that's that one. It's a moisturising one. I've got the J Manual, which we got in the mini tilly bag. That mini tilly bag was so good. Just that colour there. That's a nice colour, actually. It's like a pinky red. And I've got this Lime Crime one, which is in shade Wicked. I think I'm going to put the Lime Crime one on today, actually. I'm feeling like a bit of brightness. Look at that. It's like a deep raspberry colour. So I'm going to put this on today. Yeah.
and like the smell of it as well. It smells like alcohol. Shouldn't be thinking about alcohol at this time of day, but yeah, like the smell of it. Right, that is me. That's my look for the day. I think I look all right? All good. Right, okay, I hope you don't mind me doing a little chat with you this morning as I got ready. So thank you very much for watching. Can I remind you that if you do like watching my videos, can I suggest that you do subscribe to my channel because YouTube have got this thing at the moment where they're not automatically putting people who you regularly watch in your feed. So the only way to make sure that you have you do see my next upload is to subscribe and to press that notification bell next to the subscribe button so that's if you really enjoy watching my videos even the silly little ones like I've just done just now I will suggest that you um, subscribe and you press that notification bell so I've been doing that with all the people who I regularly watch because I subscribe to everybody but now I'm just pressing that notification bell now because I've noticed that I'm not getting their, their videos automatically in my feed now I don't know what YouTube are playing that but it's just one of those things so just remember to subscribe to my channel press the notification bell please don't forget to give me a thumbs up it really helps in the engagement and helps to make sure my videos are recognized as well as, as I do this and um, I will see you soon actually you'll see me very soon because I'm about to film another video which I'm going to do very quickly because time is ticking on yeah, I've got 20 minutes to film the next video before I leave the house so I will see you soon thank you very much for watching Take care. Bye.